Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this MaxMod USB adjustable constant current electronic load battery capacity tester with up to 150 watts, up to 200 volts and up to 20 amps. Really impressive specs. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get and then do a couple of tests, especially we are doing a capacity test and also testing how low we can go regarding the voltage and regarding the amps because there's not much description, not much information about that and so it is one of the most important things. So it looks like this is the original box and it came also like that. So here we have some instructions. If you are interested, maybe you can see that if you are going to the highest resolution and then put it on pause every now and then. So hopefully you can see and read everything. And here we have also some of the accessories, of course, the power supply. By the way, it's working worldwide if you're interested. And here's some more accessories. We get even a European plug and some nice set of Crocodile to USB connectors plugs. Yeah, really nice thing here. So you can see these are Crocodile clips and we have the USB mail. And here we have just normal crocodile to like a open wire. And here the device itself. I wished it came in a nice box, would be easier to store. But as far as I know, it's the same thing with all of these devices. There's some rubber band here. I don't know why. I guess we can remove that. I mean, there's not a whole lot of protection here. You have to be a little bit careful. But as far as I've been able to see, it's the same thing with all these battery testers. So I'm not complaining. What's good here that we have all the USB ports already here. So we don't need additional adapters here. The USB A, as far as I know, is just for the USB triggering. And here we have the two current regulators. Here we have the low current regulator up to 2 amps. And here we have the high regulator up to 20 amps. So usually we start with this one here. With this one here you have to be a little bit careful. But they make a good impression. I've seen definitely worse than that. So let's plug in the power supply. Also here in the back. And we get the display on. And some testing here, some alkaline AAA battery and I've connected it with this crocodile to USB clamps which are included. So let's plug it in here and see and we see this 1.57 volts. So let's see if we can use some low amps because especially when we want to test some zinc carbon batteries we can only use very low amps so I'm increasing slowly here. It's a little bit difficult. It's not reacting. I'm turning the thing here. It's not reacting. But now we have it. Yeah, 0 0.13 amps. That's pretty cool. I mean, these are the things which we really need. 0 0.09. Now we can adjust. You can see we can even go very, very low. 0 0.03. I think that was the lowest which I've seen. 0 0.03. That's important. Now we have even 0 0.01. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for because sometimes we really need super low amps. Of course, this device can use high amps, but uh, what's also important that for some things we can also use low amps as you can see. And then we can increase, of course, with this battery, we shouldn't go any higher. You can see the voltage already drops to around one volt which is then probably the maximum so we can only pull around one amp but this is a very important test really good device to test such batteries i'm super happy so i reduce it again so it definitely works for me so i've been trying around a little bit regarding the functions here there's not much described except from the reset here i hope you can see that that's the description of some function but mainly it's for the reset there are also some things here but i don't see that here regarding the adjustment especially like cut off values so as far as i can see we can press here 
and I mean it goes into first time it goes into different display and another different display and then it starts with the backlight for example when we press three times fast then we can reduce the time you can see we can stay on the button here and then it will count down so the backlight will then only be on like for 30 seconds 20 seconds 10 seconds or so but we can also press two times and then we can increase with a long press here again up to the maximum i think which is one minute or one minute is also infinite so we are at the highest and then it's just backlight on again which is then always on we press again goes into the voltage or voltage uh, cut off when we press three times we can reduce it with long press again so you can see so it will cut off uh, when the voltage is above this value so i'm definitely going down i don't want to use that but takes some time here so maximum what i want to test is uh, 110 volts anyway so i guess i leave it like that same thing with the amps so i reduce that with triple click one two three and now i can reduce the amps with long pressing so that's the maximum amps above this value it will just uh, cut off so leave it like that we can also set a cutoff for the wattage and of course it's below one volt here yeah, because we don't have any input here so the warning definitely seems to work what's also important to see that we can use normal standard micro usb to power this device so we don't have to use the normal power adapter but sometimes a little bit annoying that we have this cut off here even though i'm turning this on producing five volts and it keeps beeping so we have to press this button here and you can see it has five volts so why does it not stop automatically i've also tried to force it into some kind of usb like quick charge trigger but it didn't work you can see that it's showing the power also from here so it's definitely a usb but when I go into the trigger and try to activate the quick charge 2.0 trigger, you can see it's not doing anything. We can't feed the trigger here into this system. I always thought it would work like that. It obviously does not. Maybe I do it wrong. Unfortunately, there's no explanation about the USB trigger, but I'm pretty sure this device has something like that. Here in the instruction, we can clearly see that it says that's the trigger port for quick charge 2.0 3.0 but it didn't work for me yeah i finally found a way to activate the trigger here i hope you can see that it's a little bit complicated i had to lift everything up but now you can see when i have the usb a port directly plugged in here not indirectly but directly here you can see i can use this trigger i can increase to nine volts and we see also the nine volts here on this display i think i could even go to 12 volts yeah absolutely amazing so this definitely works this is awesome so now i can really test with high voltage uh, from usb and there's also the problem that USB-C to USB-C connection has never been working. We can see USB-C uh, here even with a 100 watts cable here into USB-C and it shows null volts even though this thing is powered on you can see. So how to work around we also need some kind of a trigger. When I put this device here in between I plug this in here and then i plug this one here into this usb tester then you can see it works it shows 4.56 volts and we can even use the trigger from here as well 4.7 put it on the right side it's supposed to be 9 volts it's a little bit lower because of course of the wire but it definitely works you can see we have 8.5 volts here now it's a little bit a weird situation why this doesn't work and now it uh, cuts off and falls back but at least we are at 5 volts again i don't know if it's possible to have a higher voltage for longer time yeah, yeah cuts off all the time here i tried also with a pd trigger 
can see that here it works I think for a little bit I mean at least it shows 12 volts possible and when I move it up it goes up for a little bit and then stops again and there's also another thing or actually almost the most important thing and that's the question about the accuracy regarding the watt hours and the ampere hours and so i've done a test here i've been running this configuration here for two hours power comes from here then goes through this uh, usb meter and then it's also monitored here and the power consumed here so this should be basically the same after two hours we have here i hope you can see that that's showing 1945 and here we have 1960 something like that now it has turned off because it has some weak uh, contact here in this area it's no problem here but you can see it's basically the same there's pretty much no difference here and i've been using this one here for years i have absolutely no doubt that this is pretty accurate usually it has been showing also same results here so i think they are very accurate and now this one is showing exactly the same or uh, very very close to that so i would say we can definitely rely on this device regarding the uh, watt hours and uh, milliamp hours or ampere hours so that's the positive thing here and there's another small missing function here on this device apart from the usb trigger usb c trigger and that's the thing that it cannot measure the amperes when it's not consuming the power so here i have a special configuration the power comes from here then goes through this wire and it's measured here then goes through this wire and then we see some of the information here goes into this device but everything is just monitoring here at the end of the day the power is consumed down here in this device unfortunately it's upside down so you can't see that but here that's the center of the consumption there's a fan here underneath and it's consuming the power so it's going all the way through all these devices and all are somehow usb meters and you can see this one here is monitoring everything you can see the voltage and the amps and here you can also see uh, same same or similar thing i mean of course the voltage is a little bit lower because of the loss through everything but it's showing exactly same amps here we have the amps here we have the amps exactly same thing so it should be also same thing here but it doesn't show so this is something which you have to know you can't use this as a usb meter unless you consume the power here in the device itself if you consume the power here and just want to monitor it then it's not working it will show zero because it's not consuming it with these two devices you can also monitor it uh, while it's not consumed here of course here that's not a consumer anyway that's just here a device which can only monitor it but this device can also or has also the capability to consume it but it has also the capability to just monitor it but this thing here is a little bit different we can only measure the amps when we are consuming it here so i thought it would be very interesting for you to know about that and there's one more thing regarding usb-c to usb-c which i wanted to show you because it really doesn't work usb-c to usb-c because it shows zero volts because there is no trigger implemented here on this device so we can uh, use something like that but huge device but it works also with some smaller devices something like that which is really small device plug it in here and then plug it in also here that's a built-in trigger and you can see now it's working we can test this device here and maybe as a last information here which i want to leave regarding this device we see a lot of 
similar devices which have maybe a little bit of different ports, different power supply, different fan, but apart from that they look exactly the same, have same features and I've already tested a couple of them and they worked exactly the same. So I cannot guarantee that all will be the same, but I would say majority of these devices which look like that in a similar way is like 150 watts uh, testing 180 watts testing these things they are inside exactly the same same controller same everything here they also don't have a, a built-in trigger it's exactly same thing but i think that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video so if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time